every shopping centre, but people don't notice it anymore. I mean, uh, George Orwell's prophecy of 1984 has come true. They want you to have a national ID, a mark in the back of your hand, a biochip. Chaos is soon to come. The type of chaos we experienced with the World Trade Center, the type of murder, the type of massacre. There are three groups of people who understand with absolute certainty that the attack was done internally. Not simply against the buildings, but against the Constitution and the people of the United States. First of all, there's the billionaire banksters and their agent provocateurs who did it. Secondly, there's the Arabs who they blamed for having done the dastardly deed. They're certain that they didn't do it. And of course there's individuals like myself who know the MO, the method of madness. I listened and watched TV for three months and decided I wanted questions answered. And I thought to myself, our country is supposed to be the best, the strongest, has the most sophisticated air defense. What happened? My husband was in the Air Force for years and protected our soil, and he died on our soil. I want to know. They turned around and took my wrongful death lawsuit, turned it into a negligence, and put it with the rest of them. I want answers. So I don't feel I'm going to get a true answer because TSA, Transportation of Safety Aviation, Department of Justice, all of them came in and blocked all evidence. That doesn't go because I grew up old-fashioned, tell the truth, no matter if it hurts, no matter who's guilty. One murder, 3,000 3, murders, we have a right to know what happened. We, to this day, we don't know what happened. Howard Dean recently seemed to muse aloud whether you had advanced knowledge of 9-11. Yeah. Uh, look, there's time for politics. And, uh, you know, it's time for politics. And uh, I, uh, it's an absurd insinuation. All the evidence leads not in a very nice area. They won't give us any answers. A lot of the families that you're not hearing from are medicated. They tried to trick me, and I wouldn't buy that. I want to be a clear mind, clear thinking. I want to be able to ask questions and get answers. And I'm not getting any Two years after 9-11, the Republican chairman of the commission investigating the attacks is now saying they could have and should have been prevented. Tom Kane, appointed by President Bush, has told CBS News, quote, I do not believe it had to happen. Krista Breitweiser is a 9-11 widow who fought for the creation of the independent commission on the 9-11 attacks. Thanks for coming back. The same topic as always. Could this have been prevented? What do you know now, thanks to what Tom Kane had to say? Well, I mean, I, I think it doesn't come as a surprise that he stated that 9-11 could have been prevented. I think what is a surprise is that he did, in fact, come out and acknowledge that people should be held accountable. Um, and I think that in order for us to make sure as a country that 9-11 will never happen again, we need to make sure that the individuals who are responsible for the failures are held accountable. The president has agreed to meet with the 9-11 Commission, a private meeting that the White House is just now preparing to make public. I don't think they have done that yet. The president will meet with the, uh, the co-chairs of the 9-11 Commission, of course, investigating the deadly attacks on New York and Washington. They had indicated that they wanted testimony, or at least a meeting, with both the president and the vice president. It's not clear yet whether this meeting will be under oath. The White House says they are still working out those details, but uh, as one official said tonight, regardless, the president plans to tell the truth, and this would take the place of any public testimony. Well, what's amazing is when you stop and consider that uh, everyone that they say was involved in the attack, uh, the uh, al-Qaeda network, Osama bin Laden, these are creations of our intelligence agencies. Uh, in my book, I detail how that uh, uh, Osama bin Laden actually came to the United States back in the 80s and was given arms and ammunition, some training, uh, the al-Qaeda people. Uh, we, they're called a terrorist network. I think they would be more correctly termed a, uh, a, 
a mercenary, Arab mercenaries. And of course, if you have mercenaries, then and they were created initially to fight the Russians in Afghanistan. And uh, but once you have a bunch of mercenaries, then they go and fight whoever you order them to go fight. And uh, I think the idea is is that now they're all gone rogue and that they're just doing whatever they want to do. But since they were created and working for the CIA, I think the question has to be asked: Could they still be working for the CIA? Could they still be working for the CIA? Could they still be working for the CIA? I'm very, very concerned that a small group of people who have a different agenda, they believe in power in the hands of the ruling elite, have seized control of the government of the United States. And they intend to use our financial and military power to bring about an empire which will be under their control, creating a ruling elite and, of course, the enslavement of all mankind. I fear for our country when I reflect that we have wicked and evil people in control of our government today surrounding the president. I don't know what the president knows, but I know that these people, uh, and I speak now of the members of the Project for New America Century, have a, an agenda which is totally contrary to that of our founding fathers and that of the majority of the American people. I see that you've got this uh, dollar with uh, Osama bin Bush on there. Yes. But he's he's shaved. I don't see his beard. Yeah. You know, actually, originally I wanted to have just a little mustache, sort of like Hitler, because that's that's what he reminds me of at this moment in time. I think what we've witnessed is the American Reichstag and the rise of the Fourth Reich here. I see, for example, the idea of the bigger the lie, you know, that we heard earlier today in the conspiracy convention, that the massive, colossal lies that, that Bush and his cohorts are promulgating on the American people, perpetrating on the American people and the world, uh, is so monstrous. That it's very much similar to Hitler. And you know, the Reichstag, when he burned the Reichstag, and said, now this is, uh, we, we are going to have a long war ahead of us. Very much the same with the Twin Towers and what uh, W, what George Bush said to the American people. We're concerned about the rise of the Fourth Reich of the Rich, the Cassius Cartel, because it really isn't um, communism that's the problem, and it's not capitalism, it's, it's corporate socialism. It's or called fascism. the Cassius. Well, it's, it's corporate fascism. It's, yeah, transnational yeah, fascism, I think. Absolutely. You know, I'll, there's no question about that. Yeah. Now, you have a, ha a half a million of these bills printed? Yeah, we made 500,000. We've incorporated a lot of the secret societies into the bills, and people love them. They just, you know, pass them well, out like I, candy. It's I so love much fun it. to give money. Uh, I love it, and, uh, of course, you can get it. You can uh, write to the website, uh, freeworldalliance.com. The lady that did this uh, deserves congratulations. I don't know if she's a rightist or a leftist or what. There's no question that the American Illuminati will attempt to use mandatory vaccinations on every man, woman, and child in this country. In fact, they already purchased 300 million doses of smallpox vaccine to be used. They used to have larger lots of vaccines. Now they're in single doses where they could actually embed a chip in you via these single dose vaccines. State mandated uh, laws are forcing our children to have vaccines just to participate in any school program. And right now, through CAPTA, the Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment Act um, that's in all the states, they are threatening to take away custody of people's children if they do not get these vaccines. Will they poison our reservoirs? Will their agent provocateurs spread anthrax or some other deadly disease? And then ask us to take vaccinations, which will kill rather than cure us. Taking a look at this city, I think it would be very satanically significant if they sacrificed the city of angels to their Lord Lucifer by dropping a nuke or a biobomb. I can't imagine uh, what, it might, what form it might take, perhaps chemical or biological, uh, there could be you know, a detonation of uh, you know, a Hiroshima-type bomb. Yes, I see the, the possibility of uh, an incident being orchestrated so that uh, the people, uh, the populace will be so frightened that they will be willing to, 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 um, to transfer power from um, from the people.